Let's take a look at OneDrive pricing and plan. We will see the little comparison and uh, what to choose. Uh, we have many options to, to get the OneDrive from Microsoft. The easiest one is to get just the free service. It's called OneDrive Basic, but we can get only 5 gigabits of data. And that's it. Uh, to get this service, we need to just set up our account in Microsoft and, and that's it. Uh, the second option is buy the OneDrive standalone. We will get more storage. It is 100 gigabits and it will cost us $2 per month. In this boat option, we will get just only OneDrive. The different option is just go to Microsoft 365 subscription and choose one of them uh, into basic one personal and family. Uh, we have up to one terabyte uh, cloud storage. Uh, the personal cost about $70, the second one cost $100. And the OneDrive is included in uh, many different service and application. And this uh, this for option is just under from home use. Uh, we can also switch to the business one tab and check the possibility. Uh, for the business, the subscription model is a little bit different because we will be paying every month for each user. Uh, the basic one is uh, one day for business plan one. This is almost five dollars per per month per user. The one drive is included, and also some security security advance will be option will be also included. And the second plan is ten dollars, and we will get more services also instead just only one drive. The two last option is uh, business basic is business standard. Uh, the price also is different and the services included is different. The OneDrive is included but also many different like Exchange, SharePoint, Teams. So you have a lot of possibility to to choose. Okay, let's switch for from home and I will show you the two options that maybe you didn't know that you can use. Uh, let's focus on the free service. Let's scroll down uh, and see what else we can get from Microsoft. The first option that I will take a look and describe a little bit is under the advanced security and it's called personal vault. And the personal vault is uh, some place inside you uh, OneDrive that is more safety and to open this folder you need to uh, set up more security options it's look let's switch to OneDrive and see how it looks like in my OneDrive it looks like this uh, it's personal vault it was already conf configured and to open this folder I need to just provide my email address and after that provide the security code that Microsoft will send to my email and after everything will be match what I previously configured I can open this folder in uh, this free option, let's switch to the comparison, I can upload there just only three files. The same in standalone option. You can I can upload just only three files inside. Okay, let's just see what else we can get. Under the other uh, core features, we can see that even in OneDrive Basic, the free, we can get free office for the web. So we can use Word, PowerPoint and Excel on the web just for free. This is a very nice option because we will pay zero to Microsoft and we can use the OneDrive and also the basic application but only on the web okay that's all
I hope that this move was useful and you will you get uh, you will get after watch movie some basic knowledge about this service provided by Microsoft.